Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Death Marriage, where the bride and the groom would fight to the death. For today's death match, we have the groom, the bride, and some expendable audience who are just happy to be there. And let's not forget about Linda the Undercrow, the sponsor of this show. Oh, would you look at that? The bride's team already made the move. They're taunting the groom. And the best man turns to the groom and says, Yo, bro, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker's twin black brother. Their f***ing tricks won't work on me. They're driving to the battlefield and there's a car broke down here begging for help. And they're ignoring him just like a human being does. And meanwhile, the bride's team already arrived there and working on their defenses, they also have a photographer. The groom's team has arrived and they're dropping off all the foot soldiers they have and singing Who Let The Dogs Out song. And the best man yells, go, 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 this is deathmatch. And there are absolutely no ground rules because this is marriage, this is a street fight. And the match finally begins, the bride versus the groom. Both have been training for this moment for a lifetime, but they realize the opponent is really strong so they do their voodoo dance. And the bride's team is panicking, but the bride is super confident, and she's like, I got this, bitch. The groom also realizes it's not gonna be enough, so he's marking his territory with pink flowers. But the kid is really confused, he doesn't know what's going on, because he hasn't developed it till yet, and he looks directly at the cameraman, and he's like, Oi, what the f*** are you doing in my house? Get the f*** out of here! Meanwhile, the town folk are really drunk, they're just doing some silly dances, as the judge is setting up the rules and explaining them to the contestants. The bride is planning to kill the groom and devour his insurance money and the groom is just planning to have somebody to cheat on. Bride has a secret weapon and it's called a flower. It's a continuous curse. The groom is getting really uneasy and nervous and he's like, Oi, can I use the bathroom before we start? And the judge is like, nah, fuck off. You can't use the bathroom at this moment. The audiences are really getting impatient and they're singing, Let it begin! Let it begin! <laughs> And the bride and the groom are doing a Saturday midnight fever dance to taunt each other. The groom turns and says, Oi, you're the devil, because in Mexico, devil is female. And the bride looking directly into the camera, she gave a signal. That's a signal for the random assassin. And the bride is like, oh no you didn't. You'll be screaming my name in agony tonight. And she gave the flower away. And here we have the priest reading something we don't care. And what's that? The gloves are off! The gloves are off! They're actually shaking hands right now! They're shaking hands! This is unbelievable! The priest is saying something else, we don't care, f*** you! And they're looking at each other right now and the bride is like, I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna get your f***ing insurance money, your car, everything you own! And the groom is just chilling and he doesn't wanna argue, he's like giving, I'm the one who knocks look! And the bride says, good, good! I can feel your anger. Now strike me down with all your hatred and your journey towards death will be complete. This is beginning to become really heavy for both the contestants and the audience. And the priests are doing a big f*** off dance before leaving. Both the bride and the groom are survivors of many marriages and the assassin is on his way. The groom is going strong, so does the bride. But there is only going to be one winner in this contest. One death, one survivor. The assassin is choosing his weapon really carefully and he chose the sniper But who is he gonna kill? Is he gonna kill the bride or is he gonna kill the groom? But the given of the background story of the assassin, he had daddy issues So that's why he's gonna kill the groom Is it going to be a game over for the groom for all the men? And yes, the assassin chose to kill the groom It's game over This guy is really upset and he's yelling Oh my god, they killed Kenny and f*** off Souls. Let it be known that he died a hero, he died for all mankind, for all the men who are suffering from marriage, and this should be a lesson to everybody out there, marriage kills.